All right, really quick, I'm gonna go over how in between jobs when I have to move the honeycomb up and down the, with the tray itself, the base plate, how I go ahead and set the machine back up so that way I'm nice and accurate on, on the bed. So you push push the honeycomb in the tray all the way back. Here, I'll move it for you so you know we're doing this all over again. Push it all the way to the back. Push it to the right hand side. Push it straight back. You're gonna, you're gonna, on XCS itself, we're gonna come in here. Sorry, I only got two hands. So we're gonna come in here and zoom and we're gonna manually move while watching on the canvas here, we're gonna move the gantry on the machine until we line up directly to that line on the bottom of the canvas. So all, like I said, all we're doing is moving this and we're gonna just be watching here. Not even watching the machine, not watching. So this little bit right here, this is really tiny little micro movements. Like, I'm, I'm like talking super, super, super small like that's a hair all right so we're pretty close there now when we come up to the machine we are just let me, let me focus here sorry we're a little bit too far this way so just pull the honeycomb towards you really slowly until we just pass that line now we're actually within the processing area for the machine. Now when we come all the way over here to the right, it's inevitable we cannot, um, that's the marking area and that's actually where the laser will, will hit too. So we can't do anything about the honeycomb um, unless we cut off the end of it. But So here in XCS, all right, here in XCS, I've drawn up a little template that basically just explains the processing area of the machine. Everything here in green is where the laser can cut, score, engrave. Everything here in red is where your material can actually fit within the machine itself. I have put 24 inch material from end to end on the inside and as long as you can center it from to this green area right here um, from the front of the back to the machine you can very accurately engrave everything so I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick a way to verify the machine and everything so I have this set to 5% power let me set that to 1% power and we're gonna set it to say 106 speed and we're going to go process this. We're going to ignore. Let me drop down the bed. Turn the light off here. So I'm going to go ahead and click start here. We have. I'm going to click start. So everywhere you see that laser going right now is where the machine's actually going to cut. See we're still within the honeycomb and we're right on the edge there. There you go. Task done. So I, I will include this file onto the page. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing this by myself here. Um, if this helped you in any way, feel free to um, say something. If there's anything that you'd like me to do differently, go ahead and say it too. Um, again, as with always, this definitely helps my speech. Um, I have uh, ASD, AD, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this helps me with all that. So thank you guys. And if you guys ever have any more questions, need help with anything, this is what I'm very passionate about, and I'm glad to jump on here and help. Thank you.